Hi, it's Craig from Scratch Golf Life. So today is a very, very big day. Today is the day that the UK golf courses are opening up again after three months of lockdown. So as it actually turns out, I have practiced more in the last three months than I would normally do in a whole year. Okay, I have been on that golf simulator, either on the Skytrack software or on TGC 2019, every single night for the whole three months. And I've seen my numbers on the launch monitor improve, but also I felt my golf swing and my confidence in my golf swing has improved through that period as well. Now, the thing that we're gonna find out today is whether all of those good feelings and numbers on the golf simulator and the launch monitor is actually gonna transfer into the real world out on the golf course. So today, we're gonna to go and play our first game of golf, real golf, for three months. Uh, I'm expecting or hoping that my ball striking and my full swing game is gonna be in pretty good order because of all of that practice. My chipping and putting, I have absolutely no idea because no matter what anyone says, you cannot practice your chipping and putting on a golf simulator or a launch monitor. So we're gonna go and play a few holes. We're gonna play the ball as it lies. We're gonna finish off every hole and we're gonna see what score we do and just see whether actually all that practice has been worthwhile and it's putting me in a great position for the start of the season, which is literally only two weeks away. Okay, let's get cracking. Right. Yeah, it seems, like I say, it seems weird looking at the real world. I've been looking at that screen for so long. Right into the wind. A little bit off balance, but it looked okay. Is it all right? Okay. Is it up? That is a scrappy par. <laughs> See, I've got no idea on distance. Doesn't look all that far. Yeah, yeah, I think so. It's whether I can reach that bunker on the right, or whether that is just miles further away than it looks. Happy with that one. <laughs> Well, I've been lob wedge dialed in for that one. Ugh. Pushed it. I did push it. Okay, so earlier this evening, we played around 12 holes in beautiful weather. The weather was absolutely incredible. I mean, 20 degrees in March in the north of England is pretty much unheard of. It was gorgeous out there. And it was great to be out on the golf course again. I did only film for the first two holes because I was very conscious. I was playing with a friend and he'd been looking forward to his game of golf on the golf course again. And setting up the camera before every shot, it just slows things down. It takes time. So I was conscious of not ruining his game with all of that. So after the first two holes, I actually stopped filming. But you've seen, you know, the film from the first two holes. Uh, so the question was at the start of this video was, has three months in here got me ready to go and hit the ground running on the golf course. Okay, so there's some good points and there's some bad points. Bad's probably not the right word, but we'll call them bad. The good points were, one, my driver. I hit my driver really well. I only lost one tee shot out to the right on the third. The rest of them were hit really solid and were in play on the fairway and I was getting good distance. I was really pleased with my driver. And that kind of replicates what I'd seen in here and also, the conditions out on the golf course of hitting my driver were very similar to in here, as in I'm putting the ball on a tee peg and then obviously I'm hitting it. 
So just felt like what I'd done in here was replicated out on the golf course. The other good point definitely was my distance control with my short irons. I noticed that I was almost always getting it around pin high. Uh, so the distance that I've seen in here, and I knew I hit the clubs from all the data on the launch monitor on the Skytrack, uh, was replicated out on the golf course. Uh, you know, my, my lob wedge that was going 95 yards in here was going 95 yards out on the golf course, and I was getting it really pin high all the time. Same with my gap wedges and my pitching wedge. So I was really pleased with that. So that's definitely another big plus point. The not so good points were my irons. So unlike in here, where I'm hitting it off a perfect lie every single time, out on the golf course, all of a sudden the lie wasn't perfect every single time. All of a sudden you start to think about that little bit of wind that you're never thinking here. You're hitting it off a lot softer surface, uh, which also felt very different. I was also using my irons for the very first time, my new irons out on PXGs out on the golf course. So I should have factored that in as well. But what all, all of that led to was I hit quite a few not fully committed swings and hit a few iffy shots with my irons, if I'm being honest. Uh, so that, was very, that felt very different hitting my irons out on the real golf course to what they felt in here where I was hitting them really good. Uh, so definitely need to do some more work out on the golf course, hitting the irons and getting more comfortable out there again. And chipping and putting was exactly what I expected to be, just extremely rusty. To be honest, the greens aren't great yet. They need another two or three weeks of growth if we get the spring weather coming. Uh, you can't expect to hold too many putts on the greens at the moment. Uh, and chipping was just, you know, no feel for distance whatsoever. That's all to be expected. And, you know, that was something that I already knew before I went out on the golf course this evening. So the answer to the question that started this video of whether three months in here has got me ready for the season, then the answer is actually no, no. But it's been, but it has been a big help for sure. And there's some good, really good plus points, but there is no replication for actually playing real golf on the real golf course. Sure, this is great as a somewhere where you can practice and you work on stuff, but at the end of the day, the w real work has to be done out in the real world on the real golf course to really get your game nice and sharp. And that's what I'm gonna concentrate on now, is spending a little less time in here and more time out on the golf course and try and get everything sharpened up out there as I manage to get it sharpened up in here. Okay. So that's it for this video. Please, if you're enjoying the content, please subscribe. The more subscribers and the more views, the more license I've got to do is more with the channel. Uh, I'm going to start bringing a lot more content from a mixture of in here and out on the golf course now. I've also spoken to a few of my really good friends who are great fun on the golf course. We're going to do some course vlogs. We're going to go and play some of the really great golf courses in the UK. So that'll be great as well. I know that... it. it they're actually good golfers, but they're just really good lads and they're good fun. And I'm sure the banter will be absolutely at an Olympic level. Uh, and it should be a good laugh and really enjoyable to watch. So looking forward to starting to do them at some point. Uh, so yeah, if you want, looking forward and you want to see all that in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you don't miss it. So until the next video, stay safe, look after yourselves and I'll see you then.